Hello beautiful souls. I hope you've been having an amazing holiday. I know I've been not as regular as usual in posting videos and it's because I've been going through a little bit of a reset and it feels just actually really appropriate in this winter time um, to do that. And during this time it's been a real time of letting things fall away and I just got to meditating on seeds and because seeds are this little spark right that brings us through the winter and we each are a seed right each of us because if you think about what a seed is these are some radish pods that I let grow up this this summer and I'm going to be going in shortly and harvesting the seeds out of them uh, so that I have radishes to plant next next spring and each seed I'll break one open for you um, See it's maybe hard to see here, but each <laughs> they're, they're all kind of hidden inside this pod, but each little seed Actually has this frequency or vibration within it, which is this frequency of the essence of radish these are black spanish radishes so they're 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 a little bigger and, and um, they store really well but but each seed has within us within it the potential for this perfect radish plant and each one of them has even you know it, it has the pattern for radish itself but then it's got its own individual little pattern each one of us has that potential right that frequency within us and so when these seeds get planted, you know, it, it, whether or not they reach for their full potential depends on a lot of things, right? It depends on whether they even hit fertile ground, right? You know, it depends on the water. It depends on how much light they're able to have and the soil quality and you know, predation, whether the rabbits come along <laughs> and all these little things but each one of them is this little spark of hope and it's just divine potential and so thinking about seeds and thinking about myself as a seed right and it's really it really comes down to you know giving ourselves the right environment because that little spark of potential is there but it's got to be activated and there will be times there's times where you, you know we have to kind of shut down and just sit sit in the stillness and sometimes it's cold and sometimes it's dark and sometimes seeds need that time of cold and dark in order to fully mature so that they're ready for the activations right when they come um, and so what we can do is give ourselves the right environment and you know just thinking about just think about what's what things in your environment can you set in order to assist your own inner seed to be ready for the activations when they come we have to listen for those activations right it's an invitation when the sun comes out it's an invitation for that seed to begin to quicken right and when the rain comes it's an invitation for that seed to start to swell and break open its its outer shell and there are all these invitations that come along but if the if the environment isn't right it, the seed won't respond so you know just something to think about is you know for me the environment needs to be you know I need to be around you know people whose vibration is going to be assisting mine right I need to have a certain amount of silence I'm finding more and more unplugging is a really really important part of setting my environment um, the right foods having enough sleep for me these are my things but I, I would love to encourage you to think about well you know what are the environmental factors for you that equate to you know your own seed and what's the sun and the rain and the the right soil what things can you put into place around you right at this time and throughout the year in order to assist your inner seed to be receptive and open to the you know the awakenings 
And then the other thing is like setting seeds of intention. And I think this is a really beautiful time of year to do that because we're looking at a brand new cycle coming forward. And so things to think about what needs to fall away, first of all, in order for these seeds to, you know, to, to germinate and to grow. The husk needs to fall away. There's stuff that needs to be, fall away or rot away or dissolve. Um, you know, even the snow here will need to melt away. So what, what needs to be follow, follow, you know, let fall away? What can you let go of? And then what is it that's being called in, right? Because we are seeds, right? <laughs> we are seeds of the intention of the Creator, but then we can also set our own intention in, in, in creating our own environment and our own life. So just thinking about in, in my own life, in my own work, some of the seeds that I'm setting, um, one is I really want to set this intention I have been setting this intention to work in deeper, deep in my connection with Mother Earth and with the land. And so I'm really being called to work more deeply with the earth and the garden and just spend more time physically out here in the garden. And I think you may see more of that in my videos in this coming year. Um, another one is I'm called to do this, this project. I'm working on a book and to have the discipline to sit down every day and do the writing, you know, just the, the little discipline thing. And it seems like there was one more intention and it's, <laughs> it's escaping me right now, but whatever it is, um, I, I'd love to encourage you too, to think about what are the seeds of intention that you are sowing, right? Each seed, like I said, has within it this vibration, this frequency, and feel into the vibration and the frequency of the intentions that you're setting and then what can what environmental conditions do they need to grow into fruition so just a few things to think about and as we continue in this beautiful winter time if you're in the southern hemisphere also this also pertains because you know sometimes in midsummer is the time that we plant for fall right and so because both times are, are times for planting right and times for thinking about you know the intention of the season ahead um, so i just wish you i send you all my loves love and blessings at this time and remember you were born to be free <laughs>